you want, Alan? I want to talk to Candy. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because she's a sweet, innocent girl, and I don't want you to ruin her life, too. Too? How did I ruin your life? You stole my youth. You took my house. <laughs> that seems like a fair trade. Face it, Alan, this whole escapade with Candy is just a pathetic attempt to find a younger version of me. Are you kidding? Judith, I had a younger version of you, and let me tell you, it was no great shakes. It's okay, Judith. I'll, I'll talk to him. Oh, sweetie, he doesn't really want to talk to you. There's only one thing a man like this is interested in. What? <laughs> Forget it. I'm here if you need me. <clears throat> Hello, Alan. Listen, uh, Candy, I, I am really sorry about our fight. I, I know I can be a bit of a control freak, and... But I honestly care for you, and I hope you'll give me another chance. I see. Excuse me. <laughs> I can't let you steal my youth. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, Judith. Come on, Candy, tell me what you think. Okay. I think we've reached an implant in our relationship. <laughs> I think we've reached an impasse in our relationship. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, excuse me, is this Judith Harper's house? Yeah, she traded it for her youth. <laughs> Hi, Daddy! Hi, sweethearts! Judith can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to meet her. I know you two are gonna love each other. I watch one donkey sex show and you make me pay for it the rest of my life. Who is it? Don't screw with me, Charlie. We need to talk. Give me a sec. Charlie, you're just making it tighter. Yeah, the hell with it. Come on in, Alan. Hey there. Hiya. You know, I can come back. It's okay, Alan. Come, sit. All right. So, how'd it go with candy? If it had gone well, do you think I'd be sitting here talking to two half-naked people? Alan? What? I'm completely naked. What happened, Alan? Well, as I suspected, Judith has turned your daughter against me. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. Candy's always been very suggestible. You know, until she was eight, she thought this was her nose. Oh, that's kind of cute. When Alan was eight, I convinced him he only had two weeks to live. <laughs> But I suppose that tells you